Ms. Sullivan and Ms. Atkins. You've been friends for about five years. What you tell us, Ms. Sullivan, is that the defendant is best friends with your boyfriend. You're suing her for $1,900. That's money that you say you loaned her and she's failed to pay you back. Ms. Atkins, you say that you're best friends with her boyfriend and the three of you just pitched in and that there was no expectation that you repay her and you claim you don't owe her any money. Ms. Sullivan, in your complaint, you say that the first bundle of money that you loaned her, you loaned her in September of 2019 after she'd been incarcerated for right. a year. You said she needed to get a car. Yeah, she, yeah, she had told me um, she had some money saved up. She was short and I knew that if I didn't help her, then I would end up helping her anyway. She would need a ride, you know, whatever. So I was like, I just helped her with the money that was short. So she was short $800. $800. Let me talk to Ms. Atkins for a moment. She says that when you got out, she helped you find a car. Is that true? I guess, yeah. It's a yes or no. Yeah. Tell me why you don't believe you have an obligation to pay that back. Everything was supposed to weigh itself out. I'm between sorry? The three of us, between the three of us, supposed to weigh itself out, like, you know? Prove it. I mean, you didn't submit any written evidence, but if you've got testimony where you gave her money to buy a car or to do something important, I'll certainly hear it. No, she's like the, the good apple in, in our little bunch. So, no, not really. I don't have anything to say. But your whole defense is predicated on this idea that you were doing nice things for her, too. Yeah, it, we all do nice things. No, no, things but there's no we other. all. The boyfriend's not suing you. She's suing you. <laughs> Most of the favors were for my best friend. Well, before we get to the next loan, that 800, where'd you think that money was gonna come from? She'd just been incarcerated. She had told me that she needed to file her taxes, like her past taxes, like from a few years even. Did you get a tax refund? Yeah, I still have it. I just how much, how much I did you get? I never wanted to go pick it up. How much did you get? I'm not sure. I see no indication of any respect for the help that you've given her. I see no indication that she really had a good faith belief she was ever gonna pay you back. And I see somebody who maybe doesn't feel that badly about taking advantage of you. So that could be a moral lesson. It could also mean that maybe you don't recover because you kept throwing good money after bad. Are you working now at all, Miss Atkins? No, I'm not. Do you have any intention of going to get the money that you haven't bothered to pick up? Or you're happy to let the money that you say you've earned or somehow deserved just sit? And you'll just I think keep, I what, did earn and her? deserve that because on those, those years that I filed taxes, yeah. I did work. So then why didn't you go get it? You seem to be content to let your money sit in the government's hands and mooch off your friends. If that's what you want to call it, then okay. Frankly, if we weren't here, I'd call it something much worse. Judge Domingo? You have a burden of proof here. You got a friend coming out of jail after one year. Where do you really think she's getting the money from? You're saying tax returns? Give me a break. Let me hear what happened here. I mean, I really did believe that... That was true. Um, what made you think that? I don't know. Her word. Her. I just, I thought she was my friend. What were her jobs back then when she was filing? I didn't know her then. You didn't know. So I, you didn't even know she was working. So you, who barely know her, decide that you're going to give her $800 for a car the day she gets out. You know, when you're making, like, you're going like, I'm stupid. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't believe you. So let me ask you a question, I mean, those aren't Ms. Atkins. <laughs> this check from your tax return that you say you haven't cashed yet. Why don't they send it to you like they send it to everybody else? Because I have to walk into the IRS, I have to make an appointment, you have to get on the phone, they don't Why? answer, I get irritated and I don't want to do it, honestly. So you don't have any money? Right now. So she's right to not believe you. So what are we doing here? Of all the things I might want to conclude, I don't think she's lying. And I think that you have every reason to not have believed so anything she, she said. So she asked me right here on the very first page, Sarah, I want to ask you to do me a favor, please. So you know what I'm talking about? And I don't, was like, do you? She explains her situation, that her condition she's in, not a good condition. What or a condition was she in? She was hot. It was summer. She's just... Oh, I mean, that would make me think like, she this could pay is, you back. This is personal yeah, now. It's like a little this personal. is personal now. Like, you guys have the evidence in front of you. Yeah. You get me? I believe you. Hey, I believe you. Um, I don't think she's entitled to her money. 